right, let's get down and dirty with the modifiers. <laughs> Um, just see up here you can see I've got these little desk pins here that's that program that I explained in um, in video 2 so you know you can just you can click in here see anywhere and they stay forward so it's a great little piece of software I'm just going to show you um, I'm going to show you three poses quickly here the first one's just a quick one just um, it's an example for developers that you know for jewelry and rings and stuff and then just two down here I've basically I've only got 10 minutes because that's all I can um, for the time it's the only it's the full amount for YouTube at the moment, so anyway, let's get started. So we want to activate T9 here, so we'll get this. This is quite a cool pose anyway, just to start with. But um, I'm just going to show you quickly here, so we'll get um, left three. Take that back a bit so you can see. Elbow left five. Elbow left five. And extreme left. Extreme left, wrist left one, which is at the bottom, because these are in alphabetical order. So, um, what have we got? Wrist left one, wrist left one, and you can see that that's um quite cool looking. But you know, you've got you've got that many modifiers um, with the wrists and with the arms that you can basically tweak whatever you want. And then you could um arm left three. Whoop. Um, F2, so, so you can change that. And um, you've also got, you know, tweaks on the shoulders and stuff as well. So, you know, you could go bring it down, and bring it forward, take it back. You know, and you can do all the other ones with the arms as well. So that's just a quick one. Remember, it's really important to look at your when you're using these modifiers to look at your pose from all angles because um, you might be able to get something else from a different angle, which is pretty cool. So. We'll go down here and we'll do another one. And where are we? Get Q7. This is the actual pose here. It's quite cool. You can make heaps of variations from this. This is cool. It's a good pose. Um, so what have we got here? We've got spine. Front three. Spine three, front one. Uh, spine three. Me here, spine three, front one, and we've got spine two, front two, we've got arm twist left three, which will be back at the top because we're in alphabetical order. Arm twist left three, just look at this from a different angle for a second so you can see. Arm twist right three. right three then we've got elbow left one elbow right one you can see it's coming together and we've got wrist down the bottom here do, do, do. wrist right three wrist left three we'll just line up those wrists We'll go back up to the hand postures, and we've got hand spread. Oh, Come here, hand spread left and hand spread right. Now, you know that looks pretty cool. But what we'll do is just finish it off. Is we'll do the um, do the head. So we'll go head down, right five. And there you go. Pretty cool looking pose, eh? <laughs> but I mean, you know, you can make as many variations of this as you want. This is just an example, just a quick one for this video. Um, okay, up here, we'll do another one. We'll do W6, so it should be down. Where are you? Down here. This is a cool pose, and it's really good for making um, variations. Just remember to, it's really important that you look at a pose when using the modifiers at all angles because I mean when I'm making poses for IMVU to actually sell in that it's you know I'm trying to get as many angles that look good as possible but when, when using the modifiers you're just looking for an angle for you. So uh, where are we? we'll go back up here. Uh, spine, what have we got? Spine one. Spine one, back one. Spine one. 
left one, spine two, back one, spine three, left one, and go back up to the leg, leg right two, and up to the top, um, left two, um, right one, and down to the elbows, we've got elbow left two, elbow right five. This is a pose that I showed you um, in an earlier video. Um, it's quite cool, actually. <laughs> um, where are we? Then we've got hand spread left, hand spread left, hand extreme right and just to finish it off it's always you know that's why I've put so many head modifiers and wrists and hands because these are really important when using the modifiers um, and just to finish this off we'll put head down left five so I mean that's pretty it's a cool looking pose um, but just remember angles are very important so it's really important that you when you're using the modifiers that you're always turning the pose around because you might see something from a different angle that you like so you know it's really important and uh, I mean you can you know you could change it to that <laughs> that even looks pretty cool like that and you could maybe move this elbow and um, where are we elbow lift three four five we could maybe even change the wrist on there, let's have a look. Might even do a wrist twist. Uh, wrist twist. Left three, you'll change that. And then maybe try that. It looks pretty cool too. You know, and then we could come from this angle maybe. And then we could, you know, change the head. Uh, where are we? Head up, F2. Change that. And oh, we'll go right. Head up right four. So I mean that looks pretty cool too. So I mean you know there's just so much you can do. Um, but make sure that you watch all the videos, you know, because I've I've got a lot of info on the different videos and there's a lot to cover with um, with Lush. So really important that you watch all the videos. So enjoy and um, make sure that you um, have fun on IMVU.